Hello and welcome to another Blender Vision tutorial where you get no nonsense, direct step by step approach to getting your tasks done. I'm Richard, you're you, and today we're looking at depth of field. Excuse my voice, I'm getting over the flu. Okay, so I've set up a quick and easy scene here. We have uh, a bit of ocean, and we have three ships, a couple of lamps, and a camera. Nice and easy. So the first thing we want to do is to add an empty. So let's bring in a plain access empty, and we will uh, we'll call it focus empty, just so we know what it is. Come up, 001, ignore that. Right, focus empty, nice. Right, select your camera, go into your camera's properties, and then down in the depth of field section, you have a focus and you have a box. Select in there and type in focus and select your focus empty. So that is now sorted. Um, so the, the camera now is going to look for this empty and it's going to keep focus on that empty. But it won't, won't work yet. We need to first set up some nodes unfortunately because I do not like the node editor so we split the screen and switch to the node editor uh, we're gonna go to the composite and uh, nodes we're gonna select use nodes backdrop and you can select auto render if you like so we're gonna need to press shift a and bring in an output of a viewer so we can see what's going on shift a again bring under filter there we got defocus bring that in so we're gonna grab these hooks here and hook up the image to the image of the defocus and the Z to the Z. We're then going to click use Z buffer or Z if you're American and the image will go out to the composite and the viewer so we can see what's going on in the background. Um, zooming in and out there brings up, uh, zooms into your nodes with the wheel there. Um, the background if you want to zoom into that use this wheel, uh, this scroll bar here uh, or you can just click fit button there and it'll fit it nicely so there we go we got that nothing's out of focus yet because the f-stop if you know a little bit of, about photography you'll, you'll understand what an f-stop is if you don't don't worry you'll get you get used to it so 128 basically means it's it's infinity it says there actually infinity perfect focus so everything's in perfect focus so we need to bring that down now I'm I've, I've had a look at this before doing the tutorial and I'm fine I find for this particular purpose 0 0.4 is good uh, there you go it all goes out of focus there so that looks nice max blur we're gonna bring that down we don't want it too blurry 11.5 uh, and the threshold I found that 6.7 is pretty good so there you can see in the background there it, things are starting to look in focus where that empty is so let's move this across and we won't hide the screen completely I want to keep these active this bar here is because um, I've got this node selected if you select a different node you see things change up here so we want to keep this one selected so we can get uh, to change the values without having to go back and forth so let's have a look at that in fact what I'll do is I'll turn off the auto render now because I don't want that to uh, render every time I change something so there you go um, here's our scene there's our empty right there let's go to top view and I'll go into this view let's just knock off the world background so we can see what's going on so if I drag this empty down toward the ship that's right up by the camera I'm gonna put it where the steering wheel is roughly so it's about there if I press F12 to render that let's see what we get this should be in focus here yep there you go that's in focus there everything else is blurred uh, so that's go and have a look let's move this over to the second ship and render that so this middle ship just should be in focus while the other two are out of focus there we go bang on this one's nicely uh, nice and sharp while the other two are blurred and um, let's move, make a third one here put it up to the third ship somewhere around there let's find slot three uh, da, 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 da. So this one now is just silhouette should be in focus. 
yeah nice so that's in focus and these two are blurred so that worked nice and well so if we switch to number two there goes there we go get this one's in focus and then number one so you can switch back and forth your focus there nicely yeah and you can adjust these I mean if it looks a bit too much it looks a bit weird like that perhaps I've got it a little high on the max blur let's bring the max blur down to nine five try that one because it can you know it can look a little bit weird if you put too much in you know what they say less is more you know that's kind of nicely slightly defocused well that one is obviously stands out as being nice and sharp so I mean just play around with these numbers and find what what you like um, let's bring that up to seven say and let's see what that looks like yeah I think that looks quite nice a bit maybe maybe you could do with a little bit more blur but we'll uh, just put that to 10 leave it there now the the F stop I mean if I move this to the middle ship here for an example if I brought that down to 2 for example there and press F 12 you can see when it goes there you go you can see that only the bit of the ship where the empty is is in focus the front of it is out, out of focus looks a bit weird so we want to keep that up you just want to find depending on everything it'll be different depending on your scene and what you're actually sh uh, shooting so four I think is about right for this so the whole ship here now should be in focus yeah so that's not that stayed in focus so you just want to find how 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 deep a field you want to be actually be in focus um, and play around with the numbers until you get what you like as I said every scene will be different so uh, just play around with these three sliders here and you'll find um, you'll find what you like what, what looks good for you so I'll leave it there for now hope that has been helpful for uh, at least some of you and um, don't forget like subscribe and any, any questions comment uh, in the comment section uh, everything helps out everything's good I don't see that every day so I'll leave it there and see you in the next one uh, everything helps out everything's good